All right, buddy, everybody. I'm gonna tell you the best way to remove a heater core off a 1995 F-150. <coughs> there are your two inlet lines. Sorry for the light, it's raining out. But I gotta figure out how to do this. I found out how to do it. All right, open your door here. All right, the best way to do it, you got this black box here that sits. Well, you notice I didn't have to take the dash out. I just took the center con, oh, not the center, um, the glove box out. And you take this out, it sits like that. Just take two bolts, let it dangle, or unplug it. I don't know. I don't know if it's safe to unplug it. I think it might be a computer or something. So I just let it dangle. Um, you have a heater core cover. Here's your heater core. And here's my mess. Pretty bad. It's just bolts laying around. Just follow oh, the bolt, bolt line. You'll find all the bolts. Um, heads up for you guys. You will need this tool here. It's like taking push pushings and this is what you call them, buttons or trees, whatever you want to call them, Christmas trees. Because there's vacuum lines. There's black and white vacuum lines. And there's a little pushing thing there. It's on the bottom of this. And you want to be careful because some of your vacuum lines, they run your AC and everything. Your heat and your vents to the frosters, the floor. Do not just start ripping and pull, pulling on that. Um, just use the tool, pry up. If you don't have this tool, you can't get your hands on it. Try a screwdriver or dikes. Dikes will work the best. Dikes or pliers. Just do not pinch them. Because uh, then you just be pointless of put fixing your intercooler. <laughs> because that runs your heat and everything there. Um, yeah, that's about it. Just take them bolts off. And there's your heater core. Take that out. Just... Take them two hoses off there, and it should just slide right out. If not, I will put an update video up because I'm done this far. I'm not going any farther. I don't have a heat, new heater core. I'm just kind of figuring stuff out. I like t tinkering to figure out how to fix something. Because I got drove this truck the other day, and I, I put about, I think, 100 miles on it on a highway. I noticed the cab starts smelling like antifreeze. So I pull over, check. She's not leaking. Well, not outside. On that carp, on that mat over there she was. Didn't wasn't paying attention over there. It's dark. So, kept driving. Windshield got the started getting foggy. I was like, what the hell? So I turned the defrosters on. Made it worse. Rainbow colors formed on the windshield. Oh, you can't see them now. They're going away. But, um, rainbows and fogginess got on the windshield. I thought I was going to hell or something. Pulled over, opened the door, I noticed a lot of steam in the cab. So, I let the truck cool down for a little bit, turn the heat off, turn it on cold, and they turn it all, everything off. The truck sit, nothing leaking on the outside. So, uh, I took care of that. So, after that, I just Took it home, and today here I am, just tinkering with it, taking it apart. It was leaky on the outside when I got home. Right, uh, you can kind of see it leaking right there. I don't know why, but I mean how, but it is leaking somewhere down there. I don't know, but I found the problem. Hope to fix it uh, hopefully to help you guys out because i couldn't find any videos how to do it myself on these trucks so i'm putting it out for you guys because i get two of the same trucks and i love these things to death this one has never given me any problems and i put over 200,000 on it and this one i just put probably 20,000 and she's blowing up on me Alright guys, uh, any questions, please comment or messages, whatever. Uh, I probably will have a video of me putting a new heater core in. I might even do it tonight, I'm not sure, but I will upload this video for help you guys that have problems. Alright, see ya.